Hey everyone. This is, in my opinion, probably the single most important video that I'll put out on wealth building. It is kind of the culmination of all of the different elements. And I posted this up on Instagram, I don't know, a week ago, 10 days ago. And I've really been pondering it in my own um, wealth journey. And as I'm looking through the notes of everyone that I'm working with in preparation for my calls with everyone next week, the importance of this one thing resonates with me so much that I don't think you can start your wealth journey without doing this. I'm doing a lot of research on the, the art and science and philosophy of wealth building and wealth creation. And I was researching Napoleon Hill's master key system it's from the 50s and it just recently got put up on Amazon. So you can watch it if you're a prime member be prepared because it's hardcore from the 50s, both in things that he says and the quality of it. Um, 70 years ago, people thought differently. And once you get into, I think the second or third video, you'll understand what I mean. I'm not gonna dive into that because it takes away from this. But as I was doing that research and I was looking um, around online for different use cases for the master key system, I came across this on a blog. And this was Bruce Lee's definitive purpose statement. I'm, I'm sure most people are aware who Bruce Lee was, but if you weren't, he was like the first Asian or what they called an oriental um, actor in the United States, like superstar actor. And it was, he was based around martial arts. It's, I still like to watch those movies today. Um, he really started the movement of karate in the US uh, back in the 70s and 80s. But I'm going to read this and then I want to talk about it for a second and why it's important. I, Bruce Lee, will be the first highest paid Oriental superstar in the United States. That's his definitive goal. In return, I will give the most exciting performance and render the best quality in the capacity of an actor, um, what he's willing to give. Starting in 1970, I will achieve world fame. And from then onward till the end of 1980, I will have in my possession $10 million. The definitive goal date and the number. I will live the way I please and achieve inner harmony and happiness. What will he do after he reaches this goal? This one simple paragraph pulls together every piece of the wealth journey that I have been working on articulating. And it does it in such a simplistic manner that it is just absolutely brilliant. You cannot start a wealth journey without writing this statement. Now, if you look at the different exercises that we've gone through about figuring out where you are, figuring out where you want to go, what is your number? When do you want to reach it? What is life going to be like after that? And then starting to lay the foundation for what is it that you're going to do to help you reach that goal? It's all in there in one simple paragraph. Now, I may have artificially created a connection between Napoleon Hill and Bruce Lee. I am in no way saying that there is one. I'm just saying that Napoleon Hill, in outlining or creating trainings in how to outline your definitive purpose, led to something that Bruce Lee did, whether or not he even knew who Napoleon Hill was, um, that is the keystone or the cornerstone to your wealth journey. Until you can write that statement, you can't start that journey. Now, let me look at a point of self-reflection here when I think about my personal definitive or my definitive purpose statement. It's interesting because I am definitely what you would call a multipreneur. Um, and I'm not saying that that is a complimentary term or something that anyone should strive to be. So when I wrote out my statement, and I'm not ready to share it yet because it opened up some major flaws in my approach to my own personal wealth creation. And those flaws particularly were being involved in too many things and working on too many projects that were of interest to me for numerous reasons that weren't in alignment with my statement. And if I'm not in alignment with my statement. How can I expect anyone that I'm working with to be in alignment with my statement? 
And it's not that I'm looking to change my statement to put it in alignment with what I'm doing. I'm actually actively eliminating things that I am doing in order to become in alignment with my statement because this definitive purpose statement is definitive. It is the statement, it is the path. Bruce Lee didn't say, I will be the highest paid Oriental superstar in the United States and invest in real estate and start e-commerce businesses and sell, I don't know, whatever. You, you get my point. He was going to be a superstar actor in the United States when he was going to start, when he was going to end, and what it was going to be the reward of doing so. I wrote my statement. I love my statement. I am not being true to my statement. So I have some work to do on that. What I want you to do is take the culmination of all of the videos that we've done, all of the phone calls that we've done, all the worksheets that were done, and I want you to write this statement and send it to me. Um, if you're watching this video on YouTube and you're not someone that I'm working with currently, you know what? If, you, if you're open to doing it, write this statement and post it below the video. Or my cell phone number is always below. Text me, email me. I'd love to know what your definitive purpose statement is and how this will affect your wealth journey going forward. All right. Thank you. Peace.